Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing well and staying safe. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your South Lanarkshire library card to access free ebooks and audiobooks via the BorrowBox app. All you're going to need is a tablet or smartphone, your library card, don't you just love them, and a top secret four digit pin. Now, BorrowBox has been one of the many benefits that comes with your library card for a while now. But if you don't yet have a pin to go with yours, or even if you've never had a library card before, don't worry, we can show you how to get one from the comfort of your own home. If you already have a library card but haven't yet used it to access a libraries app before, simply head to our website. That's www.slclibrary.co.uk. If you click up at the top right here to log in, you can then see the option to click Forgot Password. Go ahead and click this and you'll receive an email with a four digit pin that you can reset at a later date. And if you're entirely new to South Lanarkshire Libraries, welcome. Simply head onto the library website, click register, add your details and you will receive an e-version of your library card and pin. So our next step, now we're set up with our library cards, is to download the BorrowBox app. On your tablet or your phone, you'll have somewhere you can download new apps or applications. I'm using an iPad, so for me, this is the App Store, but any tablet should have its own equivalent. Go into your App Store and search for BorrowBox. Here it is, a nice bright green and white square. It's a free app, that's very important. So all you need to do is click to download and in the blink of an eye, it's there ready to use. So as soon as we enter BorrowBox, you can see that it's gonna ask us for a few details. We're going to put in our library. So if you search up at the top here for South Lanarkshire, there we are, up we come, click that. You can put in the library card number and pin that you've been keeping safe so far. And we're in. So you can see on the home page here that I immediately have all the items that are currently out on loan to me, as well as the option to return or renew them. If you scroll down the page, you'll also find your borrowing history here. So if there's anything that you've particularly loved, you can find it very easily and borrow it again. What's great about BorrowBox is that you have access to both eBooks and audiobooks, and you can select them by choosing the tabs at the bottom. In e-audiobooks, for example, immediately you can see you can filter between adult, young adult and children's and then there's a lot for you to browse. So we've got featured, which are some of the newest to the library. You've got categories, which are things like uh, top downloads, best-selling authors, prize winners and you've got different genres as well. So feel free to have a good browse just as you would in our library shelves. You'll notice that some of these books have a little bit of orange writing beneath them telling us that it's already out on loan. Now it should give you an estimate of the date this book will be returned, but I would always go ahead if it's one you really fancy, feel free to reserve it and that will make sure you're next in line as soon as the previous borrower returns that download. If we head over to the ebooks tab, again you can choose adult, young adult or children and I've headed into the children's section here to show you that again we've got new to the library, uh, top downloads, and you can choose between fiction, non-fiction, and so many more categories too. So let's give an example of how you would actually borrow a book. I'm gonna head back to the e-audiobooks here, and I think I'm gonna borrow this one on the far left, Rescuing Penny Jane by Amy Sutherland. All I need to do is tap it, and this screen will come up. So you can see there's a bit more information about the title, and you can choose to either preview it or to borrow it. So go ahead and tap the green borrow icon. It will ask you to confirm the loan, telling you how many you'll have left. You can take up to 12 books out at any one time. And after clicking confirm, loan successful. So you have the option here of either keeping browsing or you can listen now. 
What's particularly great about BorrowBox is that with both the ebooks and the audiobooks, you have the option to download them to your tablet or phone. So that means you can read them or listen to them even if you're away for Wi Fi. So all you would need to do is tap the green circle there and it will download the audiobook. Another particularly cool feature is the fact that BorrowBox will save your place. So if you're having to put your book down and you've come to a particularly good cliffhanger, don't worry whether it's audio or an ebook, BorrowBox will keep a bookmark for you. And if I head back into my current loans, you can see it's right here waiting for me. BorrowBox also has a search function. So you can search here for a particular title, particular author, and we'd encourage you to have a look at the library's local content section as well. If you put in library literature, for example, you can see some of the titles we've recently uploaded. I can highly recommend the top one there, not least because I actually wrote it myself. So we hope this has been a helpful tutorial for how to get on BorrowBox and access some ebooks and audiobooks until we meet again. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to get in touch. You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter and online via our website. And if you'd like to get in touch with someone from your local library branch, we can still access our branch email addresses, which you can find by visiting the following website. www.slleisureandculture.co.uk slash info slash 23 slash library underscore locations. Until we reopen, we're still here for you digitally. But in the meantime, stay safe and happy borrowing. Thank you.